guys, it's Taylor Marie. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing something a little different but fun. I'm going to show you all of my wigs. All of the synthetic wigs that I own. I think I have like eight. I have a lot to be ready. Um, but I'm going to show you, you know, the construction of the wigs, how long I've had the wigs, how I've changed the wigs, and just let you guys see my collection of hair. Before I jump into showing you guys my wigs, I wanted to tell you guys where I get my wigs from. So I buy all of my wigs online. Um, you can buy them for the beauty supply, but I haven't yet. Um, all my wigs have came from wigtypes.com. I usually buy all of my wigs there. Um, if there is a difference, it's usually like sister wigs or I just bought one from Ebony Line and that's going to be on its way really soon. So I'll give you guys a review on that. But yeah, wigtypes.com is my favorite place to buy my wigs from because they usually have the cheapest prices and they have every wig I can So this wig basically. is my newest wig. I've had it for about three weeks. This is from Free Trust Equal and it's in the style Evelyn. This wig was really popular um, because of all the colors that it offers. There's green, purple, pink, rose gold, a thousand different blondes. Um, I think they have silver. Like this is just a fan favorite pretty much it's always sold out and i was able to get my hands on it right before school started um i really like this wig unlike other straight wigs it doesn't really tangle up on me and the parting was really nice i didn't have to do anything to it but add some foundation to blend my scalp but i didn't have to like pluck any hairs or anything like that um this wig is pretty long it's about 28 inches it reaches my waist and I'm 5'2 so um I really bought this wig because of the color but I really do like the quality of the hair as well as the um dye job this texture is probably yakky it's not really silky compared to another straight wig that I had um and you can kind of see the texture but I love it. It's one of my favorites. People comment me on it all the time. And I'm probably going to buy another wig from Free Trust. So this hair is really special. It's my first, first wig ever. Um, I bought it the, the summer of my junior year. So the summer before my junior year. This wig is really old because I am now a senior. But this wig is from Ultra. It is the Ultra Dominican Curly Half Wig. Yes, this is a half wig. I have the full lace wig and I'll show that in a second. Um, this is a half wig, which is why I'm wearing this hat. Sometimes I'll style it and I'll do it like half up, half down, but I'm way too lazy for all that today. And half wigs make a really good hat hair. So this wig did look different when I originally bought it. So I'll leave a picture of that as well. Um, I cut it. I usually cut my wigs when they start to become too much or too tangly or too matty. I just chop it off and make a bob. Um, quick tip if your wig is ever getting a little annoying, just chop it off and it'll be better. It's the home to wig. But I love this hair. I really should just let this hair go because I've had it for so long. I like never, never even wear it. Me and this wig have been through a lot of stuff, but... It's still really cute. Like I said, it's good head hair when I'm just being lazy. I need to run the campus. But yeah, let me just show y'all the actual. All right, y'all. So this full is the Ultra Dominican Curly Full Lace Wig. Um, I really love this hair. I bought this hair, I don't know, probably like a year ago. So I keep my wigs for a long time. I'm kind of a hoarder. But I really do love this hair. I'm probably going to order another one in like a honey blonde color because these curls when they first come like straight out the package, I'm going to insert a picture. It's so pretty. Like the curl pattern is just life and that's why I have two of these wigs. Um, this hair is also not the best quality, like it tangles a lot, but I've had it for a year, so I can't even say like that it's bad quality because I still have it. Um, let me show you how long it is. It's about, I think 20, 18 inches. Um, it's pretty matted back here. I just need to like get it to life really fast. 
But with curly hair, I don't know. To me, you can't really tell when curly hair is as matted if you were to wear like a straight wig. Um, this actually is actually supposed to be a side part, so I'm gonna switch. So it this is how the wig looks to the side. Um, it is a side part wig, so all the combs and everything like that comes for you to put it in a side part. I just like to wear my wigs in the middle. I don't know why, because my head is so big, like my forehead is large, but it still looks cute either way. I do use my combs most of the time. I'm just not right now because I'm lazy. Um, I really love this wig. It's also not that expensive. It's like maybe 25 bucks before shipping. Um, it's one of my faves. It's a really natural wig, which is why I bought it. Why is hair so large? So this is definitely my most popular wig. People love when I wear this wig. This hair is also from Free Trust Equal. I don't know how to say the name of it, so I'll just leave it right here. Um, yes. It is purple. Big, large purple hair. I feel like a lion. Um, I bought this wig the start of spring semester last year. So I've had it for quite some time. Um, the curls are so pretty. I think that's what makes me want this wig. Also, the fact that it was purple. But this hair is so large, y'all. Like, it doesn't even make sense. I'm going to show y'all how long it is. That's not even all the hair is to the front. Can I put all the hair to the front? God. Okay. So this is all the hair to the front. It's super big. Um, but I think that's also why I wanted it. I really like big hair. And the fact that it was purple just made it even better. Now, I will say that since I've had this hair for so long, it is a tangly mess. Like, having to put it on is... A lot because there's a lot of hair and it does tangle now but I really like it um, I still wear it even though I hate wearing it in the heat because oof this is a lot of hair y'all it's oof but it's definitely one of my faves first time trying a color that wasn't conventional and now I love to do it so I should just have another color because they have it in like a Beyonce blonde, like when you apply the blonde and it goes to like a brown at the bottom, it's cute. This hair tangles a lot, like curly hair will do that and this one definitely does. But it's still worth it, like even though it tangles because it's so curly and big, like you don't even notice it. So this hair is from Sensational and it's in the style Anna, but I've completely changed how the wig looks so I'll be sure to insert a picture of how it looked when I first got it. Um, I decided to chop it off um, into a bob mostly because of all the cons that came with this wig. So con number one, this wig doesn't have any combs and that's just weird for me. All my wigs have combs, um, even my half wigs. And I mean, it's pretty snug so it hasn't like flown off when it's windy but it's just not secure and I don't really like that. Um, and then this hair is not the best quality. Um, the waves at the bottom were really nice but it would get tangly and I would try to, you know, comb it out, but it would just make the hair look matted and ratty. So I just went ahead and chopped it off because I was tired of dealing with that. Um, plus, when I did cut it, like that whole blunt bob style was really popular at the time. And I think it still is. So this is still kind of in trend in a phase of mine. I just don't really like it because of the quality. Even though I've cut it, I still have to like brush through it quite a bit. Um, and I'm just lazy. Like I don't always remember to have my brush on me and it just becomes a lot. But it's cute when I want to go for something more natural. Um, this wig was also pretty cheap, so that's a good thing. Um, it is in a color one. I like jet black hair on me. I know not everybody does, but it's really cute on me. So, yeah, I don't know. Eh, I think if you're starting out, this would be a good wig. Like, it'll be worth it, but just be ready. Brush this ready wig all the also time. looked completely different when I first bought it. So, I'm gonna um, add the picture. I honestly can't remember the name of this wig, but I know it's from Ultra because that was when I was buying nothing but Ultra wigs. Um, this is in the color 27 or 2730, um, Honey Blonde, essentially. And it was longer. 
I cut it, of course, because I just like cutting my wigs into bobs when they start to get way too tangly. And that's what was happening with this hair. It was really cute, um, probably about waist length, like 20 inches, but it was just getting way too tangly at the end. And I didn't know how to save it, so I just decided to cut it. And I really like this length. Um, I don't wear this hair a lot because it's just kind of plain to me. I don't know. Maybe it's the color. A lot of people like this hair and like when I wear it, but I don't know. I was also a honey blonde in high school, so maybe that's why I'm just not really feeling it anymore. But it's really pretty. I think the curl pattern is why I bought this wig. I hope I can find it to give y'all a name of it. But I've also had this hair for about a year. Um, it's probably one of the best kept wigs that I have that is this old just because like I said I don't wear it that much um it's still really cute and I'll bring it out every once in a while when I feel like it but yeah I forgot how nice the red hair looks on me but this wig is the ultra natural yakky 24 24 is the length let me show you how long it that is on me it comes to about my hip um and I'm 5'2 but this hair was probably like my third third wig I also have this in the half wig form this one is the um full frontal or yeah lace front wig um I love this hair but also hate it because it gets so tangly I just spent a good 10-15 minutes just trying to brush out the tangles before I started recording um so that's one thing I hate about this hair like if I wear this hair out like the brush is just in my hand 24 7 because if i flip the wind blow i gotta it's tangled i gotta brush it out so that's one thing i hate about this hair but the texture is really nice i think it's because of the texture that it tangles so much it's more of a silky even though it says yakky i don't think it is um it's a really light yakky basically but um they also have this hair in 18 inches instead of 24 but i like my hair long so i want 24 and um, they also have some different colors, not really like your purples or anything like that, but they have like, I think, oh, they have 613, um, which I had this in a 613, but I'll show y'all what I ended up doing to that wig in just a second. Um, so yeah, this hair is a lot, keep it a lot, but it's still really nice. It's really cute if you want something really long and thick because this hair is super thick. This is all the hair to the front and that's quite a bit all the way to the bottom so so a quick tip with dealing with stray hair um normally if i was wearing this hair out i would detangle it first so brush it out really good and then i would put heat to it i would just flat iron it yes you can flat iron synthetic hair up to i think 400 degrees or maybe like 425 um and I usually just straighten it on like 380, but that helps to get the tangles out a lot. It pretty much looks brand new if you really put the time into um, flat ironing it. Like I said, I'm just really lazy today and that's just not about to happen. I'm not going to. So this pink hair was originally the Ultra Natural Yaki 24 inches in the color 613, which is platinum blonde. Um, but I decided for my birthday that I wanted to have pink hair and I didn't want to buy a new wig i couldn't find a wig that was pink at the time or the pink that i wanted so i was on youtube and i found out that you could dye synthetic hair it's a really hard process i'm not gonna lie um but i'll add the links to the videos i watched um in preparation to get my hair this color um it was more vibrant i feel like it's a little washed out now because um i got caught in the rain and it was just it was bad but it's still really cute. I'm just sad that I don't have my platinum bomb wig anymore because I loved it. I will add a picture of the pink on my birthday and um, how the 613 looked on me because I thought I was cute. But yeah, so that's how I changed this wig. I tend to change my wigs a lot because... Yeah, I'm just kind of weird. I get bored sometimes, which is why I have some wigs. The construction of the wig. So this is the lace front. So this hair in particular has about this much lace, but the inside. So all of this, all of this is lace. 
but then this back here is tracks and has about three combs most wigs have about three combs two here two in the front next to the part and then one in the back and it comes with adjustable straps and that's pretty much how all my wigs are the two combs in the front and then one in the back with adjustable straps except for that one really weird wig that doesn't have anything um so yeah that's how the inside of my wigs look and all of them every single wig i own is all right you guys so that is all of my wigs i know i have a lot and i'm still buying more i do have one on the way i think it'll be here um by the time this video is up and I'll make sure to do a review on that and all the wigs I get in the future. And I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you give me a thumbs up. Maybe drop a comment down below telling me which wig you like the most. And make sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.